Guys, the chicken is here back today with another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, we have the season 18 sneak peek. Before we get into it, guys, make sure you are using the code chicken in the shop if you're going to get instant training or anything else for this season. Uh, we're going to go over the tech tree in depth and on Sunday, sorry, Monday morning, 4 a.m., 3 a.m., Monday, 3 a.m. Eastern time, we are going to be going live as season 18 drops. So make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you are the first to catch the season going live and you're not behind whatsoever. With that being said, let's get into the tech tree. So, right off the bat, freeze, what does it mean? Let's take a look. Crying here. Cryo Bombardier. And Cryo Tank. So, kind of a, wasn't, you know, I was hoping for a little bit more, but um, more importantly, what, what, what this season seems to be bringing us at a glance is it might not be a base race. Now, let me explain. I had some help from the uh, the Warships Professor, a.k.a. Shish Kebabber. Um, <clears throat> and basically, here's what we have uh, in terms of in terms of statue bonuses. So we have 50 troop health, uh, 150 troop damage, 100 building health, 100 building uh, damage, and 250 GB. And the point being is 50 troop health. Uh, it has the potential to be a slaughter, hence needing cryos. Um, yeah, so <clears throat> non-instant training players, probably not going to be a great season for you guys. Uh, yeah, and it, it if you don't understand, so basically troop health helps with troops living. Uh, mines hurt more, rockets hurt more, your front line, which scales well with troop health, will be deficient and will die early, in a nutshell. Uh, only one other thing helps troops live is reduced damage. Uh basically cryo stuff perhaps or we go back to compacts and the rush meta is heralded in so uh at a first glance the the meta is going to be cryo heavy um cryo bomber but um but we'll see cryo heavy zuka with kavan is going to be strong as well um but it's going to be interesting man it's going to be interesting so yeah <clears throat> the troop health maybe that means not as much of a uh not as much as, as a base race because the troops are going to die. They, they don't have as, as much uh, troop health behind them. There's only the one node uh, this season, I guess, to put that a little bit more simply. Maybe, maybe uh, we overcomplicated that. But, uh, but yeah, it's going to be exciting, man. So let, let's take a quick walk through the whole tree um, and let's see what we got here. So right off the bat, um, <clears throat> we, get, we have no troops. We have the, we have the Crioneers. Um, so what we want to do... Is we want to get to riflemen, and then we want to get to troop damage, and we want mines. It's going to be a very defensive meta uh, at the beginning because we have Cryoneers that do essentially nothing, right? Um, so we want to get riflemen, we want to get that troop damage, and we want to build up our defense because if we're open, uh, we're only going to be going to be getting hit with riflemen. So if we're open to, uh, if your base isn't polluted with mines and you know. Mortars and machine guns. I would not pour any points sniper towers at the beginning because we don't need them um, You're gonna be at a deficit. So Yeah, then we're gonna grab a couple more machine guns and then we're gonna go straight to uh, to four yards That's where we're gonna get the heavy so you could kind of play this two ways heavies are early enough on that uh, We probably don't need to go too much out of our way to get the rifleman depending on it depends on where you start in the season If you have very low tech um, if it's going to take you a day, an extra, you know, an extra day or a half day to get to heavies, then maybe get the rifleman just so you can compete and make sure that you're getting your chests. Uh, otherwise, skip it. Go straight to heavies. Get the heavies. Um, so then, we're, then we see heavies. We see boom mines. Uh, Ever sparks not going to be worth it. Way too expensive. Um, the hero of choice is going to be Kavan, probably for the whole season. Uh, we'll get into that in a minute. But uh, we have heavies. We have building health, and you'll see. Um, Boom cannons do come up, but until then, unless you went out of your way to get cannons, there's essentially nothing that's going to um, deter the heavies aside from the boom mines. So, um, you know, but again, without the troop health, it seems like it's not going to be as much of a base race as uh, as as normal. So, we'll see how that actually plays out. Um, the troop health is over here, and then uh, we don't have another one all season, right? Yeah, troop damage. Okay, so only fifty percent troop health, which is which is interesting. It's it's going to be shaken up. So let's move along, guys, and uh, down we go. So we have boom cannons going into a multi node. 
Um, this is really where the season gets interesting. This is where you're either going to win or lose here. I mean, you're either um, you're either rushing ahead with Cryo Heavy Zuka. Um, <clears throat> you're playing the long game with Cryo Bombardiers. You're getting Kavon, which is going to set you back, or you're going to go for the trio of Kavon, Cryo Bombers, and Rocket Launchers. Probably going to be the best way to go. Um, if you're if you're behind a little bit, if you're ahead a little bit, probably just grab Zuka's, get the next engine, get out of there. Um, but yeah. So then we move on up past the, what's this, the fourth engine? Um, yeah, one, 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 two, three, four. And then we move, move up past the fourth engine, and we have cryotanks. Now, cryotanks can be useless. Don't unlock them. Do not use them. Way too expensive. Um, it doesn't tell you the GB cost to uh, throw them out, but it was like, um, I don't know, it was like 20 or something insane, so... Maybe that's why they give us so much GBE this season. They, they thought people might actually use the cryo tanks, but we're not using the cryo tanks. Uh, and then you see we have our first prototype here. Uh, it's only a level one, so it's not going to be eh, nothing crazy, nothing too overkill. Barrage is laid enough on in the tech tree that I'm okay with it. Um, I didn't see artillery. Yeah, barrage and artillery, they, they, it seems like they finally started to space those out for uh, down a, a long enough uh, throughout the tech tree where it's not as... Um, it's not as big of an issue. So we have barrage, and then we have uh, engine number five. We have seekers down here. Uh, we have rocket choppers. Um, and we have shock launchers. More GBE, and then uh, artillery, heavy chopper, bullet. Um, all the gross stuff is coming in here. Scorchers, which won't be used either. Um, yeah, it, it's too hard to say what's gonna you know what's gonna evolve down here. But I just want to you know take a minute and just show you guys the whole tech tree. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> seems like at a glance, you know, what's going to be easy is to use heavy chopper cryo bomber. But look at how far spaced out they are. Um, same with barrage and artillery. That's not going to be the, you know, that's not going to be a rush meta either. So heavy Zuka, Kavan, uh, heavy cryo bomber, Kavan, probably going to be good. I would be, I would definitely be banking keys for Kavan. I think he's going to be the hero of choice this season, especially if we can get him upgraded up, get that second wind up. Um, another another reason where it's not really going to be a disadvantage to unlock and max rifleman, because take a look at last season. Like a lot of guys, um, what they did was when they got Kavan, they went back and they and they maxed out rifleman just to help uh, with the second wind sometimes. Now, obviously, you know, second wind doesn't mean that you have to use rifleman, but um you know it, it can be nice to have for sure so um and you know it's not a bad thing it's not a bad thing so it's really gonna get interesting right around here I, i'm feeling like so yeah and then heavy cryo a cryo bomber um that's probably gonna take over with kavan depends i honestly don't know i don't know how good heavy zuka and cryoneers are gonna be because that can be you know, that can be pretty devastating too, especially if it's not a base race uh, meta, especially if it's not just, you know, who can get this big dumb lump of heavies to each engine room as quickly as possible. If it's more like slow down, take your time, you know, we got to methodically get it, make our way through the base. Heavy Krauzuka is excellent for that. You know, that's not going to go down to, uh, to very much. So uh, that being said, I would not definitely not spend any upgrade tokens on Cryoneers, but um, you know, we'll play with it as it develops and, and kind of figure it out as we go too. So, um, yeah, it's an interesting season. Overall, I'm excited because I, I, it's different enough, whether that was planned or not, it's different enough where it's going to actually be really interesting because for once we don't have heavies right here, it's going to be a, I, I feel like it's going to be a rough start, especially for guys that don't have instant training. Um, cause you don't really have that troop right off the bat, um, unless you finished high enough last season to, to go and grab heavies. But, um. You know, it's going to be tricky. It's going to be tricky. And I feel like uh, there's going to be kind of two pools of, of people that start off. There's going to be people that don't have enough chests to get heavies right off the bat. And they're stuck using riflemen. Um, and not only are they stuck using riflemen, but they're still going to be losing to the guys that are using heavies. Because heavies are going to be a lot faster. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out. But, um, but yeah, like I said, make sure to subscribe. We are going to go live uh, right off the beginning of the season and everything like that. Um, the deck layouts weren't too, too crazy, so I didn't go over that. But, uh, but yeah, we'll see more on, uh, on, on Monday morning, early, very early Monday morning. Thankfully, it is holiday Monday, so there's no um, 
Oh, I gotta put my I gotta put my trophy out. What am I doing? No, global number one, as always. But uh, yeah, thankfully I have Monday off as a holiday, so it's gonna be a early stream and hopefully a, a long one. Hopefully a successful one for the chicken and for you guys as well. Guys, that helps you. Make sure to leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel. Um, like I said, to be notified when we take off. And uh, yeah, it, uh, happy Christmas, happy holidays, happy Festivus, whatever you guys are celebrating. Hope it's a good one with friends and family and uh, you get some downtime because Monday, it's go time. It's go time. We got some worships on our hands. So uh, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. That is going to wrap up the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. Check out the chicken's new hat on his head. And we'll see you next one, guys. Chicken out. Bear, bear.